How much creatine is too much creatine? Are there any side effects? What is the proper dosage of creatine? Let's figure it out together. Hi, I'm Maya Valenti with Naked Nutrition, a private chef and nutrition coach here to help you answer all of your fitness and health questions. Despite being one of the most thoroughly researched and well-proven supplements out there, a lot of confusion still surrounds creatine. Specifically, there are concerns that this naturally occurring compound can cause behavioral problems and hormonal imbalances, in addition to kidney and liver damage when taken incorrectly. So how should you be taking creatine powder? What's the appropriate dose? and how much creatine powder is too much. There's no evidence that creatine has any adverse side effects, even when taken for a long period of time at an extremely high dose. Creatine is not a steroid and therefore has another range or hormonal problems associated with these substances. Individuals with healthy liver and kidney have nothing to worry about when it comes to creatine powder. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about dose. As mentioned, there has been no negative effects seen from doses of 25 grams or higher per day. Does that mean that you should be throwing back all of that creatine on a daily basis? No, not necessarily. Typically, these high doses are taken during a loading phase of about a week designed to saturate the muscle. It should be noted, though, that this loading phase is not entirely necessary. While loading will allow you to fill the benefits of creatine slightly faster, many people skip this phase altogether and do just fine. After that, doses drop from the prolonged maintenance phase and the minimum dose used in studies is 0.03 kilograms of body weight each day. So for a 180 pound person, that standard maintenance would be 2.5 grams. Most people, however, take more than this. The common dose recommended by most manufacturers is five grams per day. But why take this higher dose? First of all, creatine is relatively inexpensive considering its effectiveness. Second, these higher doses have the potential for more dramatic benefits. Another common practice related to creatine is cycling. The act of taking creatine powder for about three to four weeks and then taking a week or two off before starting up again. Generally, this is done out of concern for any potential complications. However, since creatine is incredibly safe, there is no real reason to cycle. Really then, there is no upper limit to how much creatine you should take, either in the short or the long term. That doesn't mean though that you should go nuts with it. That's just wasteful. A good proven dose is five grams each day with no need to load or cycle. For more information on our Naked Creatine, check us out at nakednutrition.com. But before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly videos like this one, because here at Naked Nutrition, we are nutrition with nothing to hide.